<laughs> yeah, that's right. We've got some snapper, beautiful snapper on the menu. We're doing it in a nice Asian style. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm a little bit sick. So that's why I've chosen this recipe today. We've got lots of garlic, ginger, and chili in there. Really simple, but full of flavor. I'm gonna do it a really nice sort of like uh, tasty noodles on the side. It's gonna be fantastic. Now it's over to Mel. We've got fish on the menu today, Mark. So where's this dish inspired from? Uh, from feeling rubbish. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, no, because it's got ginger and <laughs> no, spices. No, yeah, exactly. In it. Yeah. So, so ginger and garlic, that, that obviously helps you when you're sick, you know, right. the hot lemon drink. So why not put it in our food as well? And this is great. This is one of my favourite sort of Chinese recipes, uh, ginger and spring onion. Yeah. It's really simple, but just bang, packed full of flavour. And that's what we're going to do that today. And that we're going to do it with um, some fish. So we've got some snapper here. Beautiful looking snapper. So it's already been uh, pin, bo pin boned. Yep. So you can get this from the supermarket or your fish uh, monger. Okay. And get it like that. So that just means the, uh, the bones have been taken. <laughs> Taken out of here. I love you saying that, fishmonger. Fish. You get it from your fishmonger. <laughs> Do you have fishmongers over here? Oh, no. Is that like a, a sort of an English thing, is it? What's a monger? Uh, <laughs> just, just like a bloke who sells okay. fish, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just call them blokes. Yeah. From the uh, fish bloke. Get yeah. it from your fish bloke down the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so I've got uh, I've got a pan on here. So I'm just gonna just gonna do it into some nice sort of pieces, okay? Because the bigger your piece of fish, the harder it is going to be to get it to cook nice and evenly and work with it in the pan. Because obviously once the once the fish cooks, it's going to go nice and flaky and then you've got to use a bigger sort of utensil to sort of, um, you know, flip it right. over and everything. So cut it into smaller pieces and then, you know, if you're going to cook all this amount of fish, you probably want to do it two or three times, okay? Okay, cool. So I'm going to get a, get a, you know, get a nice hot pan. Non-stick pan works really well. Get a nice bit of oil in there. And then uh, you just want to sort of control that heat, a nice medium heat. Going to give it a light season on the skin. It's a good idea as well if you want to uh, if you want to get a really crispy skin, leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours and it will just dry out slightly. Okay, so the salt helps with the crispiness as well. Yeah, yeah, it'll just okay, help cool. it and it'll season it as well. So shake your oil around and then obviously we've done this before, but yep. in and away from you. So we've got some nice heat in the pan. As you can hear, it's sizzling, but that heat on the snapper, you can see how it's killed up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah because that heat, so it's all contracted. Now there's another tip for you as well, if you want, you can score the skin and it'll help just um, not make it uh, contract. Okay. Just a little bit more oil. Well, I've just taken it off the heat now, just for a little bit, and yep. you're just going to let that uh, fish relax, and then we're just going to push it down, and then we're going to get a nice flat surface, contact surface. Okay, cool. So it's a really simple dish. But we want, we want all the components of the, this dish to be really nice and then that's going right. to make a fantastic dish. And one of the components is just to cook the fish perfectly and get a nice crispy skin. Okay, okay? So, so, so back on the heat now. So it's Take nice it and off flat. the heat, push it down. Yeah, and, and you can see it's just sort of squashed, it's nice and flat and then we're back on the heat and we're just going to cook it probably about 85, 90% on that um, uh, skin side so it's nice and golden and crispy. Now it gives us a little bit of texture. Right, another pan, a little mm -hmm. bit more oil, get it really hot. And then I've got some uh, got some spring onions, and I'm just going to leave these in nice big chunks. Right. And then we're going to sauté these. Okay, I'm going to do two. We're okay. going to sauté them. So you use quite a bit of the spring onions, actually. Don't yeah, you? yeah. So you it's going to be in, it's going to be in uh, well, it's going to be in both components, and I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm going to use all the all the part of it. Okay, and I'm going to do good. some ginger as well, and we're just going to start sautéing that. But I'm going to leave the ginger in a nice slice. Okay, right. Well, yeah, things are getting hot in here. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Right, so ginger goes in. Yeah. So you can see that it's sizzling, it's really hot, That's so just really be careful. Hot. Stir fry in, and this is going to release lots of flavour, okay? okay. Sort of start, start to cook it, and we'll just give that sort of 30 mm. seconds a minute, and then we're going to pop our noodles in to warm up. Okay. So these are egg noodles, which are, uh, you can buy these already in packets. Um, uh, you know, all soft, so you just open a packet, go straight in. If not, you get the dried ones, just cook them. Right. So I'll pop them in there now. And then we just want to sort of stir fry that. Get a little bit of colour on your ginger and spring onions. It'll soften and it'll start flavouring. Nice so work. Three, four minutes, that'll be warm, and we'll just finish that with a concoction of Asian sauces and flavours. Okay. But you see this nice little um, sort of char mark on the spring onions? That's what you and want. The ginger, yeah, that's going to give us great flavour, you know? Okay, cool. Well, we're, we're going to go to Holly in just a minute, but um, the fish, it's going yeah. along nicely. Yeah, so the fish is okay. still cooking, so keep an eye on that. We'll come back, we'll check it, we'll see where we're at. Won't take long to finish the fish. Excellent. The noodles are warming really, really fast. 
OK, cool. So everything's pretty quick. Mark will show us the next steps to making the sauce and the noodles shortly. We've done our fish. And you've got it resting now. It's yes, I'm going to show you that. So yep. we've got the noodles. So the, the noodles are warm. That's basically all you need to do now. We've got the colour on the ginger and spring onions. Got a little bit of oyster sauce you can pop in. OK, cool. A little bit of sesame oil as well. Yep. And then I've got a splash of soy sauce. And that's just going to make us a really quick... Um, dressing. Mm -hmm. So you want to do this last minute, turn the heat off and then just the heat in the pan, you can toss it all around, it will just reduce slightly and glaze. You don't want to keep cooking this otherwise it's going to make it too salty. Okay. Right, so fish, so I've taken it out, so if you look at that, you've got a beautiful, flat, crispy, golden uh, skin, nice texture. The fish is nearly cooked as you can see from the side. Um, just this very top bit here is just a little bit under. We're going to finish that in the sauce. Well, no, extra I noticed, flavors. I noticed um, you know, through Reese and through Holly that you never, you never flipped the fish, did you? No, 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 no. So, so it's, it's nearly, nearly, nearly cooked. So I've taken it out. It's just resting slightly. Uh, just the same pan as you cook the fish. Yep. I've got some ginger, mm -hmm. chilli, spring onion. And I've got garlic clove. I'm just going to slice nice and thin. That's going to go in. You're going to saute that for about a minute. Keep, keep stirring it. Mm -hmm. And then that's just going to release all those flavours and aromas. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, and this, awesome. and this is, you know, this is the best bit. So you've got your ginger and spring onion in there. Also in the noodles, so it's, it's transferred through the whole dish. So it just needs a little bit. If you need a tiny bit more oil, you can just add a small amount. You just want, you need that oil in there, so so it's coating the ingredients, so it's sort of uh, frying, bubbling, and right. that's going to extract all the flavour. Okay. If there's not enough oil, you're going to get like heat spots, and it's going to burn. Okay, we don't okay. want that. Okay, no, no, so nice, even. Won't take long this part, but you can smell it now. So once yeah. you start smelling this, and it's all softening, it's ready to go. It smells so fresh and good. Rest of your soy sauce in there, deglaze it, give it a toss, take it off the heat again, get your fish, pop it down the side which is not cooked. OK. That goes in there. So yeah, it's going to keep the fish nice and moist, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's pretty much practically that fish is cooked now, you know? Right. OK, so nice. You can add a little Ooh. bit more soy if you want. Yeah. You know, if your pan's really <laughs> hot, it does start to reduce down a bit. Yeah. Or if you've added a little bit of um, too much soy and it's reduced down, you can just add a splash of water now okay. and that will just come back. You know, you've got all those flavours glazing the fish. The fish is cooked. The noodles are ready. Plate up, serve. Nice. A little bit more uh, spring onion if you want to serve, and that's it. And you don't right. need to worry about what sort of fish you use? No, any you can fish, use, use any, any fish. fish you want, you know. Right. If you go out, catch a fish, use that. Nice work, fantastic recipe. And if you want it, go to thecafe.co.nz. Can't wait to taste it towards the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a spatcho. Right, <laughs> well, probably <laughs> better. Oh, yeah. yeah.